Here's the field for race number six. Number one is Cartier Hall, owned by Joe Mendelson of Santa Barbara, California, trained by Doug Ackerman. This filly tied as the fastest two-year-old filly in North America in this season. D.R. Ackerman will drive. Two proud service owned by Brittany Farms of Versailles, Kentucky. Ron Gerfine trains. Eric Ledford gets the call. Three Sister Sammy, owned by Sean Ross of Delray Beach, Florida. Tom Houghton trains. Tony Morgan will drive. Four Lady Luck Hanover, owned by David Scharf by Valdor Farms by Jerry Silva and the Sampson Street Stables of New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania. Ron Gerfine trains with Mike Lachance. Five Lady Pine on my Bluestone uh, Farm Limited Liability Corporation of Hopewell, New Jersey by Scott Leaf of Springfield, Illinois. Chuck Sylvester trains John Campbell in the bike. Six Natasha Hall on by Bob Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario. John Johnson trains Bernie Lindstedt is up. Seven India Hall on by Robert and Gail Sanders of Manuka, Illinois by Don Jennings of Morris, Illinois. Robert uh, Sanders trains with Randy Jacobs. And number eight, Dig That Girl, owned by Next Star Racing Stable of Lexington. Here they come. Dig That Girl way back off the gate. India Hall also off the gate. They're off and trotting from the outside. There goes Natasha Hall for the lead on a break at the start. Lady Pine out very quickly. Also Lady Luck Hanover. And sweeping with that pair is Sister Sammy. She'll drop in third. Racing four, Cartier Hall. Getting out five is Proud Service. Racing six, India Hall. Trotting seven after being waved back behind the gate is Dig That Girl. And still off stride is Lady Pine. She'll trail the field as they race to the quarter. On the outside, Lady Luck Hanover rolls to the front. She'll lead now for LaChance as they race to the quarter mile mark. Lady Luck Hanover will drop to the inside. She's on top, but not for long. Here comes Cartier Hall, a sweeping move past the quarter, 30 and 1. She'll be the new leader as they enter the backstretch. Cartier Hall takes over the Garland Lobel filly, the national season's co leader, leads them down the backstretch. Behind her, second is Lady Luck Hanover, trotting third is Natasha Lobel, racing four down the backside, Sister Sammy. Five, as they approach the half, is Proud Service. Behind her, racing six, India Hall, trotting seven. As they reach the half-mile mark, dig that girl, and Lady Pine can see the entire field. She made a break early. She's out of the picture as they race past the half, and Cartier Hall in 59-2 heads them into the upper turn. Cartier Hall, D.R. Ackerman by a length and a half. Lady Luck Hanover stalks the leader second. The Donnerail filly waits patiently for Lachance. Trotting third behind her is Natasha Hall, another daughter of Garland Lobel, and now easing to the outside from four. Here comes Sister Sammy, following her is India on the outside, India Hall, and behind her, racing six as they reach the three-quarter mile mark, is Proud Service. At the three-quarter, Cartier Hall not only, only leads, but now leads it by three lengths. On the outside, moving up comes Sister Sammy. They were there in 129, top of the lane. Cartier Hall, tied as the fastest filly in the country, has the lead. On the outside, Sister Sammy continues to move up from way back. Dig that girl, who spotted them 15 lengths at the start, is moving fifth on the outside. And now as they race to the wire, Cartier Hall being tried. Here comes India Hall between fillies. India Hall mounts a big charge. Here she comes, Cartier Hall, India Hall, and Sister Sammy. Sammy to the wire. It's going to be Cartier Hall over India Hall. Third was Sister Sammy. Photo for four between Natasha Hall and Dig That Girl. Under the wire, six was Proud Service. Finishing seven, Lady Luck Canover, and the trailer was Lady Pine. So it's the Daughters Hall in that one. Cartier over India. Owner Joe Mendelson of California made his mark on the sport as the owner of the great broodmare Flying Cloud. She was named broodmare of the century by one pole of the U.S. Trotting Association. And from that line came Messerschmitt and Pershing and other great trotters. Today it's another season's champion trotter. On by the same Joe Mendelson, this mile in 159-1. Her best performance in 158. And now into the DuCoin State Fair victory lane goes the Garland Lobel filly from Chatty Hanover by Super Bowl. Trained by the veteran Doug Ackerman with DR driving Cartier Hall. Eddie Gene Ackerman in that ceremony along with the Mendelssohn's.
and presentation of the race trophy representing the Hayes family by Jane Hayes Raider, daughter of Jean and Leah Hayes. Jane now lives at Cobden, Illinois. And it's always a pleasure to greet Jane when she returns to the house that her family built, the DuCoin State Fair. Jane, longtime director or member of the board of trustees of the University of Illinois, being photographed now with the Mendelssohns and Mrs. Ackerman.